The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. If you're building, or buying, or selling a home, the real estate crew's got news for you at the real estate house party. With attorney Rick Carter. Real estate house party. Paralegal Kathy Holsthausen. Real estate house party. Come in, have fun. And comedian Tony V. Now, here's real estate attorney Rick Carter. Welcome to Joyce here on the Real Estate House Body, and we also have Christine Hurley. Yeah, I'm and back. <laughs> I'm back. Yep. Fold them again, I yeah. say. Fold them again. We've actually had about three shows before this started taping here. Yeah, we but have. It's been very fun. Yeah, it's great. Should we give any shout outs to poor Kathy Holtzhauser? Yes. yes. She needed a poor thing. personal day. Oh, yeah. she needed a personal working, day. She's working, skiing. working very hard. She works very, very hard, hard, Kathy. Very hard. She's, she's a hard worker. She's she's probably is. We kid about it. She probably is the hardest worker. Of course. You, you know what I was thinking, Rick? Yeah. Sometimes Kathy does lines for from Christine. What if Christine does lines from Kathy? Uh, I, need mostly, day, I need a day off. Uh, shut up, Rick. I quit. Uh, <laughs> that's excellent. You, you got it. You yeah, nailed it. Yeah, you that, nailed yeah, it. That's about right. Who yeah. touched the bottle in my third draw? <laughs> 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 Did someone say edibles? <laughs> you guys have got it nailed. Good for you guys. <laughs> My Kathy. We She's kid. the best. She yeah, is the best. She's Absolute best. Personal day today. Yeah, good, good for her. No, good, good for her. her. She needs everyone. Nice day. Is she with the family or no? Uh, yeah, some of the family. Oh, that's yeah, nice. yeah, yeah she's sure. nice. in between vacations. You need right, a personal right. day. Of course, you do. Of course, you do. <laughs> you got to do laundry. <laughs> no, you don't. No, I, just, <laughs> I said that. No, I she think I've been working wearing the same clothes for a week. <laughs> You ever get in one of those things? People go, how are you doing? I go, pretty good. And they go, nah, you know, I've been wearing the same clothes for about a week. I, maybe there's something around. I don't know. How, much, how many clothes do you bring a Aruba when you guys go down? Well, you we're know, we're in the union. They we're, have a laundry at the Holiday They do in, have a laundry. Which I f- found very helpful. You know, uh, 21st century It the, really is. Yeah, the thing we, I find uh, unnerving is, you know, we have to do a show, so you need shirts and you need pants. <laughs> you need and, pants. And shoes. <laughs> yeah. You know, but. It, yeah. But this is how bad it is. You know how I joke about, like, oh, I got to wear pants. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm down to shirts. Like, during the day, <laughs> I don't even wear, wear a shirt anymore. Now, why would I, you wear I'd a shirt? I literally walk around in flip-flops and a bathing suit. Because you're buff. I, you're, well, I don't even care. <laughs> you know? And and when you get to be my age, especially, like, young people don't even notice me. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like I, like I, I'll be on the, Excuse I'll be on the, me. I'll be on the chase. You know, I'll be on the lounge under the palapa, and I'll hear and young you can women be naked, and yeah, no one I, even I'll notices hear, you. Young women will walk by and go, "Somebody left a bathing suit on that, <laughs> on that chair." Do they? Do you think they're coming back for it? You're that invisible. They're that invisible to young people. I don't think so, Tony. <laughs> like you said, you're not the ugliest one down there. No, no, I'm not the best looking no, one. No, you're not the. There's man, some ugly there people some walking ugly around. People in a room. Oh, oh my oh, god. Really? Oh. oh yeah. Mostly Ooh. Americans. Uh, mostly New Englanders. N- New Englanders, yeah. <laughs> oh. Hideous. I had a few people come and, they don't and say seem they to saw care. you also. I see At, a lot. In Aruba? Yeah, in Aruba, oh. yeah. Uh, my favorite thing to do. My yeah. favorite thing to do. We were there a uh, little bit this this past time together. Did, we were there and then you went and came back and yep. I was there. Yeah. It was awesome. It's great. You were, you December and January. You were with your yeah. husband Jimmy. I was with the fabulous Jimmy Hurley. He's God in the him. audience. He's in the audience. See him. He's the long suffering, suffering Jimmy Hurley. Long suffering we tried to get Jimmy, Jimmy on to the show today. His life blows. You guys have <laughs> little to no idea. Sure. Like honestly, It looks God, like it's rough. It, it, it does. He's, it got really, a, he's got a day job. He's got to work a he's day got a week. Day, he does. He has to, it, two days a week. Two days a week. Two days a week. Oh my God. That's a rough one. He went in for a little overtime the other night. Are, he was are we all back excited. to Kathy Holtz's stories, or are you back to Jimmy? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Two same, on, five off. Same, yeah. same. That Kathy, I don't think so. I think she works a little more than She's that. She's a hard Ricky. worker, yeah. I think we work a lot. Tony and I work a lot, if that's what you call it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> 20 minutes a night. We oh, know, we know. It's so horrible. It's awful. It's so horrible. Awful, awful. I'm, look, I'm driving yesterday morning. I, I, where the heck were we driving yesterday morning? And I'm looking at the people in the traffic thinking, can you do that every, every day? Every day. You do. I know. Could you? I couldn't do it. Yeah. I couldn't do it. There's yeah, no now way. I, you know, I was out in Los Angeles or Huntington Beach, you know, and up back and forth to Los Angeles. I don't know how people, I mean, I, I was ready to take there. a life. 
Uh, and and just like the weekend I was there, the, the traffic is brutal, ins- and, it's, and people are idiots. It's like five lanes. What? Five lanes. People are fake as F- fake. fake is yeah, awful. it's awful. When awful. I do clothes and I'm traveling everywhere, I just got strategies for every town I go into how to how to circumvent a lot of the traffic. I I, I can't take it. You are, right. my you are own good. my own town has about twenty lights and. The little downtown Reading now, little twenty lights to get through it. It's now. ridiculous. It's, it's, it's horrible. Horrible. It's it horrible. really is. It's it's oh god. So everything's going good. Where going where are all great. your kids now? All my kids. Uh, uh, Have they moved out yet? No. no. Uh, <laughs> Colleen's out. The big girl's out. Um, she has a new boyfriend. That's how you identify them in the yeah, house. The, yeah. the big girl. She's the, got a new boyfriend. She gets more behind than a toilet seat, if you know what I mean. <laughs> she's I doing all right for us. She's doing all right. She's always exactly got a guy. What you mean. Yep, she's always got a guy. God bless her. She is, and God love Look her. Look at Jimmy's so proud. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering why we didn't get yep, him on. He didn't want to come thing. on. And then my number two girl, she's awesome. She's got a new boyfriend from Lynn. Oh, wow. Yep. Oh, yeah, I met him. Met him at Giggles. Isn't he great? Nice guy. Nicest kid. Yeah. Um, and then number three, Ryan, she's in New York, killing it. She's working for Fenty Beauty and Estee Lauder. And oh, really? She went to Fashion Institute Technology and works for the cosmetic manufacturing. And Beautiful. She's killing it. Killing it. Are they all dieting? Everyone in my office, we got to have to say hi to, to Renelle, Judy, and my daughter Renee. They're watching Renelle, today. Renelle, Judy, and Renee, we love you. That Howdy. Re- you Renee, say that hi. Renee, she's an underachiever, that one. <laughs> <laughs> right? Don't I always say that? You always say that. Remember she passed her, passed her bar, bar exam. I'm like, oh, la-di-da, well, my daughter tends bar. <laughs> <laughs> no, she made rolls at the Bertucci's. Yes. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> See how we remember? I remember the stuff. How, yep. So they've all been, for whatever reason, dieting. I get the full, all, everyone in my oh. office is in great shape. They're oh, all yeah, dieting. All dieting. No one drank in the month of January. Other maybe Renee Carter, but that's... <laughs> yeah, but she doesn't need She doesn't need it, it doesn't but need everyone it. else has been dieting, so it's been a rough month for everyone. I'll bet. Yeah. You too. You, you get too. tested. Not for me. I, you, was, I was going to say, I, you don't need to diet. No, but I go in. Oh, God bless you. But you I go do. in and I watch. That, they literally have eight almonds on their desk. That's such, that, that's did, such that bullshit. That literally makes that, me that insane. Divvy it yeah. up. Makes it's, me it's, insane. Yeah. No. Yeah, today, eight almonds on one. Renee had four and... And that's, had a banana and that's, that's going to backfire. It's going to backfire. You can't do that. They're going to balloon up. Like Tony did it the right way. Right. Yeah. He I, did I, it. I still he eat still the way. Eats. You both did that. Yeah. I still eat the well, way I eat, and I love it. Yeah, right. he did. I had surgery. Oh, you did do oh, it. Oh, yeah, I had surgery. Oh, did you get that done? Oh, yeah, in yeah. 2003. 2003. Nice. Lenny that tried that, but they told girl. him he had to lose about 100 pounds to do the surgery. I had to lose. I had to lose. Really? But I didn't. Because no. my best friend's husband was the CEO of the hospital. <laughs> yeah. There's always a way. You know way. who I shared the floor with? Ozzy Osbourne and Cardinal Law. They were no. Both. Yeah. Wow. Up wow. at St. Elizabeth's. Wow. Those two party a lot together, I imagine. Yeah. Two. That was crazy. <laughs> Cardinal Law and Ozzy right. Osbourne. Wasn't, isn't that unbelievable? Two days of that? Two saints. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say two. Two saints. Two, the opposite ends <laughs> two, of hell. Two devils. Oh, yeah. Right. I don't know if they're devils. opposite ends. I don't yeah. know about That's a story yeah. for another that time. That was crazy. Wow. That must have been a lot of fun. I was a chunky monkey. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so one the, one is the Prince of Darkness. <laughs> the other one was Ozzy Osbourne. Ain't <laughs> 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 uh, uh, <laughs> that the truth? Have we oh, ever heard from uh, him ever again? We haven't. The heard Cardinal? Him. Yeah. Isn't he dead? No. Uh, is he dead? Is he? I thought they. No, he, I they, they requested him to I Rome. Think he's in, he's in Rome. He in, maybe they said. Did he, he dead. die? Oh. He did die. That bad, bad yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. Bad, bad man. Bad. Should we talk politics He's today? Is this where oh. we're headed on this? Hey, yes. a big, uh, big uh, oh, oh, today. primary yeah. day today. Sure. Huh? Oh, big yeah. primary yeah. day. Yeah, I know. You this know, I get confused with booty judge. <laughs> I think it's what it is. I think they you want think, me to. I think pizza booty judge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was coming up to judge some booty. <laughs> <laughs> and I was all over that. <laughs> Tony says, this job keeps getting better. <laughs> you want me to drive to New Hampshire and, and judge, judge booty? booty judge. I'm there. <laughs> Boy, were you surprised when you came up here. Yeah, read the fine print. That's all I'm saying. He don't like the same booty you no, like, no. Tom. No. To each their own. God bless everybody. Hey, what were the final numbers on your... Uh, 
uh, ad for, for YouTube. It killed. It, uh, uh, YouTube had 42 million views alone. Insane. Yeah. Insane. We're and then there were other platforms that were over 10 million, and then, you know, so I, don't, was, I don't know. And they ran it. Uh, we're talking about Tony was in a um, commercial for Hyundai yeah. on the Super Bowl. Yeah. Uh, Tony. That Sonata ain't got no driver. That Sonata ain't got no driver. <laughs> so yeah, it, I can just bring it up anytime I need. It's a beautiful yeah. thing. What was your waiter saying it to you the other yeah. night? I, yeah, I had... Uh, Dinner at Vinny's, my favorite place oh, in the world in Somerville. Delicious. And the waiter had seen it, and every time he came to the table, that's what I ain't got no <laughs> uh, Yes. <laughs> yes, my meatballs are getting cold. <laughs> <laughs> Vin, Vinny thinks he's the comedian of that. Oh, Vinny's oh, great. Oh, he ever. Oh, he'll great. tell you the word. Can we tell him the, 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 what about the bumblebee joke? The bu- oh, oh, that's a terrible. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's filthy. Go ahead then. No, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I can't even. No, it makes me blush. No, he'll say, yeah. <laughs> oh, it, it really Let's does. Leave that I, get, one I get very uncomfortable when yeah. Vinny brings that one up. I'm like, oh, wow. Hey, when you did that ad, did you ever think yeah. of putting Cod Alar off us on one of your t shirts? <gasps> no logos. Oh, all right. No we're, we're very, very specifically, no, no logos. logos. No logos. Allowed. That is true. You would dress like a little mailman, right? Uh, yeah, delivery guy. Oh, you were cute yeah, as a yeah. button. A generic mailman. You look. Cu- and it's funny. Eat- my wife has a coworker, and uh, uh, and th- there's a two wheeler in the shot with me. A you dolly. know, the, a dolly. Yeah. And he goes, "Is Tony using a walker?" <laughs> 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 She's going, we, <laughs> no, not Tony, yet. Tony, did you get to keep the dolly? No, I did not. Oh, because <laughs> I, I, you know, you promised me the umbrella. If yeah. I could get yeah, the umbrella, I get, the umbrella. Oh, get yeah. any um, uh, and wardrobe the dolly. out of it. Uh, nothing. No, do you I, have the umbrella? No, I have the umbrella. You yeah. do yeah, have, yeah, the yeah. Umbrella? I have the umbrella. Oh, that's phenomenal. Hey, you better yeah. tell us, tell the, tell our listeners what the umbrella is all about. Oh, well, this was from an episode of Seinfeld. Seinfeld. Yeah. yeah. Yep. 20 years ago. No, this guy's no slouch. Did your character have an actual Clicky. name? In- Clicky. Clicky. Yeah, because later in the episode, the guy goes, who cares? It's old, it's old news. Who cares? And he goes, I care and Clicky cares. <laughs> Clicky. So you did get a yeah, name Yeah, I did have it. a name on That's it. That's so cool. Were yeah. you more excited about the Seinfeld or the Super Bowl commercial? Uh, they're equal. Neck and neck. I would neck say equal. equal. Did equal. you meet Big Poppy? Uh, he was he up in the window. A day? No, no, Does no. Does he really live there? We were all on set together, you know, uh, everybody. And uh, uh, but by the time they turned around on me to do my close up, uh, they were long gone. Oh. But we, you know, I waved at John Krasinski and Chris Evans and I nodded toward each other. I, I've known. Did you have Chris your makeup person before? Uh, we had a makeup person. I think they had different makeup. You people looked than great. Me. I, I felt you terrific. looked adorable. <laughs> I felt my role. I yeah, felt like well, I was you looked adorable. Day. They were great. They were great. The the whole. Operation was terrific and it was a lot of fun. That's awesome. See what's, yeah. ha- see what's happening in Charlestown? No, five five listings lately. Really? There's five listings in Charlestown. We could one, one well, point we, four five. Have you ever no. seen Tony's little pied de terre? I have. Over there you know why there's five listings? Why? They're sick of my cigar smoke. <laughs> <laughs> they're moving out. Yeah, they're moving out. <laughs> I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't move from. You know, I, I have a ritual. I I tell my wife every night I'm going out to walk the dogs, <laughs> which we don't have one of. <laughs> and I sit on my stoop and uh, smoke, smoke a, a cigar. cigar. And the neighborhood comes to me. See? You know, everybody walks by I'm walking their dogs or whatever. By that? I, no, and I hold, a little. And I hold court and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And people yeah. go, ah, I smelled you from down the street. What, what's better than living next <laughs> right. to Tony? Right. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Yeah, it's fun. Pretty good. He's yeah. got quite a nice You're going to be around for the Charles nice Town race this year? Of course year? I will be. As he sits on his the little. The Town what? On his little There's stoop. There's a race uh, oh. uh, around Bunker Hill Day, June 17th. Also, Cecilia Viveris' birthday. Really? Even more important. She was born on Bunker Hill Day. Oh, really? Are My you daughter. kidding me? Nope. June 17th. That's insane. Yeah. yeah. Tony, that is crazy. Yeah. Meant so to be. Yeah. So tell Christine what you do for the race. We almost called the Hilda so we could call a Bunker Hilda. <laughs> <laughs> but my my wife my wife will only go so far with a gag. <laughs> That's the limit. That's the limit. Oh, no, naming their kids. Beautiful. You're not naming that kid Hilda. I go oh, oh. Bunker Hilda. It's perfect. Oh my Born god, Bunker god I love it. Oh, I not love it. Not having it. Really? Not having it. My mother used to share an office with a woman named Mary Chris Moss. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> But Mary yeah. Chris Moss. Yeah. Wow, yeah. yeah. Isn't that awful? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like, would do that? I don't know. Mary Chris Moss. Well, I don't know. Isn't that awful? It, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> worthy of NPR. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Don't tell me. Don't, yeah. <laughs> Those people have names. There was, one oh, time yeah. there was a Robbie Robertson, a Sarah Saracen, a Lily Lillison. It was just. There's one doing on a it. commercial for Staya right now. Her name is like. 
Dominic Dominic or remember we saw her the other day? She's from Vermont. Yeah, I don't know. It's the woman's yeah. name is like Dominic. Do, like it's like a man's Dominatrix. name. Dominatrix. Oh no, <laughs> not her. No, please. S and M. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So here's the listings in uh, – so, yeah. so I'm trying to think about this in Charlestown because yeah. we got to talk a little real estate. 1.4, is that a, is it a single family? Uh, yep. 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 1,600 4. square feet. Ooh. 1,600 square feet. Three, three bedrooms, three and a half baths. Three beds, four baths, believe it or not. That's a lot. I got three and a half. That's a lot to stick in 1,600 feet. The one on Rutherford? Yeah. Rutherford Ave. That's yeah. the main drag. That's the main drag. 1,600. Next one, 1. 1.2 million. Single? Single. Four beds, four baths. This you got is that good in? for you. What's a what's a three, trip, what's a three a tri- family, family, family going Oh, that's for. unit B. Looks like it's a condo. condo. So then triple it. Wow. So let's talk about Ooh, condoizing your 20. house. No. I think you're sitting on a little let's, pile of cash. Let's talk about selling it and going to Aruba. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Remember, bring me. me yeah, oh, yeah, would you ever you do that? Gonna... Number 47 Palapa. You'll know where to find me. <laughs> well... <laughs> Right. And even, it, even a one bedroom, one bath, eight hundred sixteen square feet, nine six hundred fifty two thousand. Oh yeah. yeah, imagine that. Yeah, I yeah. can't. And you get no parking and no parking, no nothing. But I do love Charlestown. Right? I love living there. By love the way, I love it. living there. You would never move. No, no. Especially if you have your own perch. Renee Cotter, and that's one thing we should talk about today because we're going to talk all real estate. Okay. She went to a Charlestown listing the other day. Yeah. Where they advertise as two bedrooms. Yeah. And the second bedroom was like a little closet. It was a Murphy bed. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? But, yeah. But the closet has to have a closet to That's be called right. a bed bedroom. That's right. Bedroom. Closet yeah. and one. You're right. right. Ed's been listening. I've Ed been like, on top of this stuff. That makes it, me tingly. If we get <laughs> love when Ed's <laughs> talks that real estate. Talks that <laughs> real estate. <laughs> now, do you learn real estate or did you learn all the podcasts you've been promoting here? Um, or is it real estate most most well, that's your most favorite. I'm most engaged with this podcast. <laughs> yeah, that, so I good learn answer. More. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer, honey. Yeah. Like ambition or ambitious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you stay out of it's that. It's not my topic area. Where are the, where are the bitches been? You're, you're the enemy. Um, and we say this in a good way because that's what they call themselves. Am the bitches. Not just. You uh, can't just oh, say just where, where them, the oh, bitch has been I, at. I no. guess I. Am, where the, where the, where the bitches, <laughs> where no. bitch has been at? <laughs> Sorry. No. That's, said in, uh, that's said in New York City at three in the morning. <laughs> That's a whole nother <laughs> thing. <laughs> Clear, <laughs> clearly, Rick, you're not one of the man bitches. <laughs> no, you are not a man bitch. You see no. the man bitch that comes with him? He doesn't talk too much. No. I'll tell you that right he's, now. He's, oh, he's, got, he's, he's got a black belt in karate. Sure oh, really? Oh, yeah. He needs it. So what do the man <laughs> bitches do? See who he hangs around with? Um, the man bitches? It's uh, woman Ed empowering, right? Oh, yeah. women empowering. Yeah. My fave. <laughs> Christine, here's the summary. Listen, it is what it is. We're redefining the word bitch to mean being in total charge of herself. Oh, there you go. God. I just threw up the we're, we're embracing. <laughs> they're reclaiming the they're, word bitch. They're reclaiming the word bitch. Well, sure. God love them. You seem to fight for women's rights a lot, don't you? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Why would I want that? Gonna, yeah, well, you don't have a tough life. I, no, I, I still like the door open for me. I, I like Jimmy being does a, that for you, right? Of course he does. He's a complete gentleman. Of Drove course you he up does. today? Drove me. Dro- drives drives me everywhere. God bless him. Drove hey, there was a fire explosion takes- in Plymouth the other day. Wasn't there? Some What's guy that? got thrown like twelve feet. Oh, he was get- working on some grinder around some fuel tank, which I don't do a lot of work around the house. But I don't that think did- that sounds. Anyone right. got video on that? I was oh, the guy, that. all right. <laughs> no, I'll check. Right. I'll check the YouTube. Plymouth you, has you been. You check it out, Ed. That's that's what I heard down in Plymouth. Plymouth is, was- we've been busy there lately. We've had some big news stories there lately. Yeah, that was, that one made uh, right. Nasty. You had the Pilgrims, right? Yeah, we had the. I mean, that's that in itself is a news story. That's. <laughs> It's coming Pilgrims. up, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, 2020. 2020. Yeah. Are you doing right? anything it, for it's that? Already, um, the town is the town's going crazy. Yeah. You know, if the uh, Mayflower had smart park, they never would have hit that rock. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, I, I work it in any way I can. Anyway, I can. So, <laughs> that Mayflower had smart park. <laughs> Rick, it was a uh, boat repair explosion. Yeah. Yeah. A man was using a grinder yes. on a fuel tank. Yeah, I mean. <gasps> I hope Does it wasn't. Wow, right? that seems like that should be. <laughs> I mean, we, we um, that should be been, above the heading. We have to do. Isn't there some right? Isn't there some little disclaimers on the 
I mean, we know every marina in town. Who please don't use a grinder well, as you're working on the fuel tanks. We don't have a name for you. It was an elderly man yep. doing work on a boat's fuel tank on his property. Oh, well, there you go. It was thrown about 12 feet. Right. I wonder yeah. I just pictured up. It. Let's get a measurement on that, that, 12 <laughs> feet. It wasn't 10. <laughs> Call the Guinness people. Then he deserves it. Um, it doesn't get into that specifically about whether he deserves it or not. Did he die? <laughs> Uh, did he die? No. No, I think he's. They found the wounded man, 83, <laughs> with serious injuries to his head and other About parts oh, of his body. That's not 12 feet away from where he started. 83. 83. Oh, he gets and it. Then Jimmy he Hurley's gets probably seen a few of those. You got to ask yourself, oh, yeah. how oh, does I somebody who uses a grinder on a fuel tank live to 83 years <laughs> right, of exactly. age? Right. He has dodged many bullets. Well, how about exactly. this? How about this? Orson Bean, remember? I remember Orson 91 Bean. 91 years old. He died. He got hit by a car. <laughs> no. 91. That's how he died. He got hit by two cars. One car pushed him out of the way and another car hit him. You're kidding. 91. You'd think you'd, you'd, think you'd see causes. a lot of yeah, you'd see a lot of death coming, but not that right, way. Right, well, right, right. um, you know who he was married to? Orson Bean? No. Uh the mother on the Wonder Years, the blonde. Is she? That's his oh. wife in real life. No kid. Now she's on soap operas. Oh. Yeah. Yep, that was his, that's his yeah, wife. She was the one life. driving the cars at all, right? Could be. Yeah. Could very, all right. could Ed, very Ed, well. Ed, work on that one. It's possible the cars had no drivers. Oh. <laughs> no, they had, they, oh. no, that. Was it a Hyundai? No, no, no. 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 That technology probably, would have stopped. Not. Probably a Tesla. Yeah, Tesla. Didn't we maybe. just know someone who died? Oh, Michaela Schifrin's father. Did you see that? No. Michaela Frischen, Schifrin, she's the Olympian, the yeah. skier. Um, her father, who's her coach, her mentor, her, um, just died? fell off a ladder or something the other day. Oh. Dead. God, 60, oh, this, 61 uh, years this, old. This podcast is taking 60, a turn. I know, for the this worst. is really good. I was just this typing. Is really, <laughs> this is really I know, I'm sorry. I know, so sad. That's sure. sad. Six, I mean, God, can you, you never know. I'm telling you. So, so love you every day. That's right. You're right. Enjoy it. You don't. You're know. right. You're right. Warren right. Zevon said it. Yeah. Yep, Enjoy that's every right. sandwich. Enjoy yeah. every sandwich. That's perfect. Yeah. He died. That's young. perfect. Yeah. How old was he, Ed Sullivan? Uh, I would say up. late 50s. Late 50s. I'm going right. to go, go 59 yeah. even. How, Did he yeah. say that before, Mama Cass? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's just mean. Oh, poor Mama Cass. So, you're not going to Definitely gonna before Karen Carpenter. <laughs> Uh, well, she never let it go down. <laughs> she didn't choke on anything. No, she, was, she, yeah. she did a bite of a sandwich and a toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> so back to Charlestown. Well, first, we'll say 56. 56? One of them was only 56. Oh, oh that's terrible. Wow, what that's a tragic. sad. That's One of my favorites. Man too, yeah. God, so no great. condoizing for you. You would never do that. No, it's too much work. Then I'd have to, you know, I'd have to have a condo association and listen to people. Yeah. Oh, and they'd no. probably stop me from smoking cigars on my stoop. <laughs> yeah, but you'd be the association. <laughs> oh, I would be. I'd be the king. You'd be the king. Oh. <laughs> this is starting to look Now better. it's starting to look better. <laughs> Just throw in the master D document. Yeah. So all right. You're going to be the king. I'm going to be the king of the condo. And did then you, you can do your get... own rules and regulations. Yeah, you know sure. that. that. Speaking of the king, did you ever get Elvis back? No, Elvis never Tony. came back. Elvis has left the building. That's the saddest you thing. It really is. It breaks my heart. Well, yeah, no, I, for years I had an Elvis bust on my stoop. You know, I have he, your bust at my a little You still have it? I still have one. No. I I, maybe I'll it? put that. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. What are you going to do with it? <laughs> well, maybe someone will take, take it. it. Yeah. It, uh, my wife well, would be very happy. Yeah. Oh. She goes, you are not turning that into a lamp. That's just creepy. <laughs> I go, no, I got the stuff. I, was, I just drove through my be head. hilarious? Right. I just would, drove through my head. Wouldn't it, be, wouldn't it be awesome if when you turn it on, your eyes open? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but for years, I had a, a bus that I had since the early 80s, which I bought in New York City. Okay. I was with a uh, buddy of ours, Mike McDonald. We were doing okay. a gig in New York City, uh -huh. and I found this Elvis bust, life-size, and it was perfect. And I tried to get it home on the plane, and they wouldn't let me. So I had, a, I go, I'll buy it a ticket. It's not going in the hole. 
You good know what for I mean? you. Good for you. So they go, no, sir, it, it could become a projectile. So I go, I'll strap it in. I'll do whatever. <laughs> they go, no, if he rides with in the plane, the pilot came out and everything. And I had to jam him in the overhead compartment. <laughs> oh, that's so there was a right. little chip on his cape. <laughs> which it's how I knew it was mine. You know, and then he stayed out in my stoop in Charlestown for years and years. He got stolen. My daughter, Cecilia, did some detective work, got him back. Then it was stolen again and it never came that's back. That's terrible. That's yeah. mean. Yeah. What type of detective? She found out who stole it. Yeah, well, it's Charlestown. She knew. <laughs> she knows all the no good people. In Charlestown. <laughs> Don't they have banks to worry she about? Put Why a word would they be stealing your? Ah, uh, you know, it, it's become such a, a you know like a frat place too. You know, with all these young lot, just drunks walking kids, by. A lot of college yeah, kids live there, getting drunk and yeah. walking by, and a lot of taking your shit. Live there. Yeah. When I was going through law school, I worked at a bank, and they sent us to different branches. I worked at the Charlestown branch, right? And one kid came, came in. It's like twelve years old. Uh, $200 check. I gave him the $200 and he's thumbing through it, thumbing through it. And he says, Oh, it's only 180 He had put the 20 in his pocket. Oh, they, that's oh. cute. So they start them young. They start them young oh, in yeah. Charlestown. Yeah. 12 years old. Can you imagine that? Wow. Yeah, he goes, it's only Oh, this is short. I go, Are you yeah. sure? Yeah, I don't think so, don't buddy. Think so. <laughs> Let's see the film. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Best piece of advice my, my father in law ever gave me was uh, If you ever treat my daughter poorly, I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> and I believed him. And never go into a bank that has a, a armored car out front of it. <laughs> Real? That's yeah. a good. Yeah. Well, I yeah. know. And to this day, I, I adhere that's to that. That's great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's great advice. Both of those. See? Both of those things are good advice. Great Who advice. Who thought we weren't going to give yeah. tips today with yeah. Christine See Hurley that? and Tony V See on that? the same show? Tony, Tony's, he's a, he's a mensch. He's yeah. like. I pass it along. He's, he I is. pass it forward. All right. I have, I have 10 tips. <laughs> so yeah, you, got, you got four He's minutes. So Go cute. ahead. You're adorable. He's so cute. You're adorable. You're adorable. You're adorable when you try. T- <laughs> the um, first tip is don't attempt the ten tips. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. So you don't want to talk about fair yeah, housing no, no, laws. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Uh, Herb Chambers has a new billboard up. That says, "Oh no, no, no." Todd Sandler, a realtor. Todd Sandler just has a um, billboard up, and it says ten tips for." Um, selling your home. Number one, call us. We'll take care of the other nine. I like that. That's, that's good. That's okay. Maybe we'll right? go with yeah. that. And that's yeah. real estate. See, look at All right. I, we have 10 tips to selling a house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. First tip is call Cattle, our office, right? Yes. Seven eight one nine four four nine. Second tip, make sure it's your house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They've had that. Yeah, yeah. Just they don't go around selling random houses. houses. Sure. They have had yeah. that. We've yeah. had that where a few people have sold. Yeah, I've, Other I've people's one now. houses. Yeah. Yeah. Their neighbors I have one land. now. Well, not us, but a, a client of ours has another lawsuit going on where someone has literally uh, forged the deed to the house and got some fake notary to seal it. Put it on record, and now they've been battling about that. How can that happen? Yeah. So that can happen? Well, I yeah. mean, it's yeah. happening. Yeah. Right. It's happening, yes. But how do you prove it's not? I mean, how do you? I know. So it's. it's how do you go? I didn't sign that. Right. It's easy to prove, but what happened with this guy? So then he sold it to a bunch of shell corporations. So what? You, you don't even know where the money has been right, dispensed right, right. to. So even if you. Even if you find out, because you can easily show that that's not my signature. Right. The notary is not the, even the correct notary, you know. Right. Uh, but to get the money back, it's it's becoming very difficult. So, but, so who so loses how you, that money? So right now, it's the, the the owner of the property is out that money. But he didn't sell the property. I know. It's I That's know. terrible. You know what's bad is we always have so, some sort of checks and balances, but how do you checks and balance? What's the checks and balances of that? Well, Iowa doesn't have them. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Those morons. <laughs> did the results come Good. back yet? No. And did you see they had a clip on the news last night of the town crier or the town vote? Oh, yeah. Is he in that employment the line? Master. Hilarious. He had like hot dog stains on his shirt. <laughs> He's standing there at the podium and the sign fell off in the middle of him. It was a sign taped to the podium. He's like, well, I, I, I. I mean, he just looks like. It's too like bad because they were promoting this year that this was the technology well, of, of, of all. I think the favorite thing I saw in Iowa was, has anyone tried unplugging Iowa and plugging it back in? <laughs> <laughs> Reboot. <laughs> have you been? Have you been to Iowa? Uh, no. The, why? Why you, you have? Yeah. Why you'd leave anything to those people uh, is, is beyond me. Is it me. amazing? Yeah. It is. It's amazing. We went into a, a a restaurant in Iowa. They didn't have chicken. <laughs> <laughs> really? They, they didn't have chicken. I go. You got no chicken on the menu anyway. No. You got fruit. We got canned peaches. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
What did you end up having? Uh, mm. I think I had a salad and some, you know. And no chicken. No chicken. <laughs> I know. But I Iowa. wasn't going for the fish in Iowa, I tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> and they get thousands of miles of corn that nobody eats. You can't eat the corn. No, they don't no. eat the corn. They're for uh, petroleum products or something yeah. like that. You they feed eat. them to the cows. They make gas out of them. I go, you know they're not them? feeding them to the chicken. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Apparently not. Did no. you go off the uh, road at all and drive through the fields at all? To, to a cornfield? Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. No, but like it's, it's Tony and his son trying yeah. that on. No, it's, it's, yeah. it gets I, it's, lost. it's like one giant corn maze. <laughs> Making a crop circle. Yeah, it's just. Uh, you Did know. you see the children? Of the, of corn. the corn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I saw them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stephen oh, yeah. King over yeah. here. I, yeah. del- I delivered two. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Believe you me. You know, you think, the, you think it's a fashion statement when people only uh, button one side of their overalls, but they can't manage the other side. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't by choice to leave that out. <laughs> yeah, it's just too much. <laughs> what? No. I, I done no got the one. one. I done got the one anyway. My pants ain't no falling. One. What do you Gosh, want? For God's sakes, Jimmy and Overalls. I were Jimmy and I were driving last night. Where were we in Braintree last night? I think we're driving. By the Braintree tea stop, and there was a kid walking up the stairs to the train station, and his pants fell down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the new look. That's well, the new look. The, yep, yeah. but that, I'm no. like, that's what you get, yeah. buddy. That's yeah. what you get. <laughs> Pull your pants up, you be moron. most uncomfortable. Hey, we're going to have a uh, studio audience coming up. We should have Christine <gasps> back for that one. When's oh, the, yeah. Is that going to happen, that's, really? That's, yeah, we just got to get everyone back here so we can decide on a date. So right. we're going to have a studio oh, audience. Oh, I love that. People will be able to ask us questions. Great. <gasps> what do you think about that? I think it's fantastic. Will there be refreshments? Oh, I would hope fresh. so. Are you kidding corn. me? Corn. There'll be corn. <laughs> oh, and there'll be corn, asking. cigars. Oh, that oh, sounds yeah, fun. Everything. Yeah, That'd be great. So we'll get I'm you in. back for that one. Yeah. I'd love it. Because I, th- I'm in. I think we got through a lot of wealth of information today. I think we did too. Did. I think what we did think? too. I mean, I, I got a title: Ten <laughs> Tips for Selling Your House. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> and we did one. <laughs> Call Cadillara. Call Cadillara. Well, it turns out Amen. you only need the one. That's it. That's right. That's right. I like that. And you'll do the other nine. We'll do the other nine. That's right. Well, this That's has right. been wonderful. I think I, I feel good about it. I miss Kathy. I feel great about it. <laughs> I miss Kathy. to have you. I miss Kathy. We miss it's Kathy just all not the time. same without she, my Kathy. She is, she is the best. She's just a, we actually have the best law you know, office now. Is, you do. We do. They, you we really have, do. We, we picked up You've some got Renee. New You've got Renee, Judy, Rennell. This is awesome. This, I'm dropping their names because they're watching right now. Renee, Judy, and Rennell. God bless you guys. See Thanks ya. for joining us here on the Real Estate Put the beer away. Daddy's coming back. Be right back here shortly. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.